Julius O. Adler was born on December 3, 1892, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, to Harry Clay Adler and Ada Oaks. After graduating from Baylor University School in Chattanooga in 1908, he attended the Lawrenceville School in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, completing his studies there in the summer of 1910. Adler then enrolled at Princeton University, earning a Bachelor of Arts degree in June 1914. Following his graduation, he began working at the New York Times. Adler's military career began in 1915 when he joined the Citizens Military Training Camp in Plattsburgh, New York, the first businessmen's training camp. He regularly participated in summer military training at Governor's Island and was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the cavalry on April 7, 1917, just after the United States entered World War I. Shortly thereafter, he was called up for active duty and quickly rose to the rank of captain by the end of August 1917. Transferring to the infantry branch, Adler became the commander of Company H in the 306th Infantry Regiment at Camp Upton, New York. After rigorous training he embarked with his regiment as part of the 77th Division for the Western Front in April 1918. Adler was promoted to major and took command of a battalion, leading it through various campaigns including the Wazane, Meuse-Argonne, Champagne, and Lorraine. During the Meuse-Argonne offensive on October 14, 1918, Adler demonstrated exceptional courage and marksmanship when he encountered a group of 150 German soldiers in St. Juven, northern France. Armed only with his pistol, he engaged the enemy and urged them to surrender. His bravery resulted in the capture of 50 Germans, forcing the others to flee. For this courageous act, Adler was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, the second highest military decoration for valor in combat in the United States. In addition to the Distinguished Service Cross, Adler received two silver stars for bravery and the Purple Heart for wounds sustained from combat gas. He was also honored by the Allies with the Legion of Honor, the French Croix de Guerre 1914-1918 with Palm, and the Italian War Merit Cross. Furthermore, the state of New York recognized his service with the New York Meritorious Service Medal. After returning to the United States in April 1919, Adler resumed his inactive status on May 10, 1919. He retained his reserve commission in the 306th Infantry Regiment and went back to work at the New York Times. Over time, Adler rose through the ranks at the newspaper, eventually serving as treasurer and vice president. Following the passing of his uncle, Adolf Oakes, in April 1935, Adler was appointed as the general manager of the Times. In the Army Reserve, Adler was promoted to lieutenant colonel in 1923 and to colonel in 1930. He assumed command of the 306th Infantry Regiment in the Army Reserves in December 1924 and held this position until his reactivation in October 1940. In April 1932, Adler was appointed as a civilian aide to the Secretary of War, Patrick J. Hurley, in connection with the Citizens Military Training Camp for the 2nd Corps area under Major General Dennis E. Nolan. Additionally, for his contributions as a Princeton graduate to journalism or related fields, Adler became the second recipient of the medal awarded annually by the Daily Princetonian Alumni Association. Adler actively participated in the pre-World War II defense program. In May 1940, he was appointed as the head of the committee representing New York, New Jersey, and Delaware. This committee was tasked with overseeing the registration of 7,200 youths for the citizens' military training camps. Additionally, Adler advocated for the adoption of compulsory military training, urging Secretary of the Navy Frank Knox to take action in this regard. Adler volunteered to be reactivated in October 1940 and was appointed as the commanding officer of the 113th Infantry Regiment, 44th Division, stationed at Fort Dix, New Jersey. After serving with the regiment for several months, he was promoted to the temporary rank of Brigadier General on July 15, 1941. Adler then assumed the role of Assistant Division Commander for the 6th Infantry Division under Major General Franklin C. Siebert. During his time with the 6th Infantry Division, Adler took part in desert training in California before the division was deployed to Hawaii in July 1943 for the defense of the islands. He played a key role in coordinating defense plans for Oahu and was awarded the Bronze Star Medal for his efforts. Following this, the 6th Division underwent intensive jungle training until January 1944 when it received orders to reinforce Allied units in the Southwest Pacific. Adler actively participated in the New Guinea campaign until June 1944, when he fell ill and had to be transported back to the United States for medical treatment. Unfortunately, his illness was severe, and he was declared unfit for active duty, reverting to an inactive status on November 17, 1944. 
Despite his illness, Adler's service with the 6th Infantry Division in New Guinea was recognized with the Legion of Merit Award. After returning to his positions as general manager of the New York Times and president-slash-publisher of the Chattanooga Times, Adler, along with other newspaper executives, visited concentration camps in Germany in April 1945, following the surrender of Nazi Germany. This visit was at the invitation of General Dwight D. Eisenhower. Later, in August and September 1945, Adler was invited by Secretary of the Navy James V, Forrestal to the Pacific Theater of Operations to observe military operations firsthand. While in the Pacific, Japan surrendered, and Adler filed dispatches to his newspaper from aboard U.S. warships in Tokyo Bay. Upon the activation of the 77th Infantry Division as part of the Army Organized Reserve, General Courtney Hodges, commanding general of the 1st United States Army, appointed Adler as the commanding general of the 77th Division. Adler led his division during the post-war training period at Camp Kilmer, New Jersey, and was promoted to the rank of Major General on January 24, 1948. He also served as the president of the Senior Army Reserve Commanders Association from 1949 to 1951 and as a reserve member of the Components Policy Board. Adler continued to hold his positions as president and publisher of the Chattanooga Times and general manager of the New York Times until his death on October 3, 1955. He was buried at Arlington National Cemetery. In his personal life, Adler married Barbara Stedheimer in 1922, with whom he had two daughters, Barbara A. Katzander and Nancy J. Adler, and a son, Julius Oakes Adler, Jr. He was also a Freemason and a member of Justice Lodge No. 753 of the 6th Manhattan Masonic District in New York City. Distinguished Service Cross Citation the President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress on July 9, 1918, takes pleasure in presenting the Distinguished Service Cross to Major, Infantry, Julius O. Adler, United States Army, for extraordinary heroism in action while serving with the 306th Infantry Regiment, 77th Division, AF, at St. Juven, France, on October 14, 1918. Accompanied by another officer, Major Adler was supervising the work of clearing the enemy from St. Juven when they suddenly encountered a party of the enemy numbering 150. Firing on the enemy with his pistol, Major Adler ran toward the party, calling on them to surrender. His bravery and good marksmanship resulted in the capture of 50 Germans, while the remainder fled. Legion of Merit Citation the President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress on July 20, 1942, takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Brigadier General Julius Oakes Adler, United States Army, for exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding services to the Government of the United States as Assistant Commanding General, 6th Infantry Division, from September 1941 to September 1943 and from January to June 1944. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.